So there's just what's appearing to happen. There's just energy, nothing being everything. It's completely unknowable. It's totally beyond the mind. It's beyond understanding. And this is a sharing from nothing that what looked for and what sought when you feel like a person who is an individual who is in the body looking out on a world so there's life and there's my life what's actually yearned for is there to just be life just be energy and for this contracted sense of separation to not be there and so what's yearned for is already what's appearing to happen it's very simple it's very ordinary The sense of being a separate person is um, impossible to describe really, but it's, you could say it's a, <coughs> there's a, there's a sense of living in the real um, and, f and looking at objects, things, because everything is an object to your subject. You are the subject, you are this person. Um, and there's a continual kind of uh, consuming of what appears to happen to keep that s bubble of me safe so to get through one end of the day to another there's a there's a continual risk management going on and a scene of other as either beneficial or um risky to me and in that there's a arises a sense that there's an authority that will keep me safe that will mind me um, and all of this is in the the dream of me and all that we see in the world all that we see playing out is fundamentally this play of the person this play of separation this play of apparent opposites <clears throat> um, and what's being shared here can resonate and that sense of there being opposites and there being a world and me can collapse apparently collapse because there's already not a world in you there's just energy so you can't go right or wrong with anything regarding this meeting um, questions wise you know if there's something there around what's being said uh, by all means just um inquire ask or you can say something in chat as well and let's see what see what happens apparently Sorry guys, I can see that message is a bit low there. Um, hi Kenneth, I've lost my job and career. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Is, um, is it the same unknowing you're talking about? or it's still in duality so <clears throat> when i say unknowing i'm talking about this sense of feeling that of living in the known uh, that the person has is a lived closed loop of knowing you know i know that it's sunday evening and i know that there'll be work tomorrow and i know how i'm going to get there and i know the people at work i know them and you know that really felt sense that it's 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 uh it's real and you know it um um what's been suggested is that that's all an aspect of feeling like a person um there's nothing wrong or right with it but when that sense of separation is no longer um everything is nothing and nothing is everything and everything is it's all new everything is new and it's very it's immediately obvious that nothing is actually knowable in the way that you thought it was because the, w the reason it was knowable was because you felt separate to it and it was an object to your subject 
to which you could and you could know it in that way so you when i say about duality i mean it's the person that is duality it's not that there's a person is in a a thing called duality and it is another thing called non-duality it's that the person the very sense of the contracted sense of being a separate person is the is you person is the dualism of there being a world out there and a me in here so there's a lived reality of feeling like there's a me it's, it's when there's thinking it's my thinking who's you know of course it is when they're sitting on the seat i'm sitting on the seat when there's talking now it's me speaking and who am i speaking to i'm speaking to you and this is this is completely goes on question that's the way it feels it feels absolutely real and what's being shared is that it's real and unreal and the unreal isn't seen can't be seen and it's the unreal that's it's the it's the not no thing that's actually yearned for we're yearning for our own absence and we're terrified of our own absence and it's all about just simply whatever is appearing to happen so as regarding your comment um that's what's appearing to happen so uh, you never had a, a, a career you never had a job but in the story you had a career and you had a job and it's all real that's apparently falling apart is what's appearing to happen it's just energy there's no you in there that had a career or had a job or um and what will unfold will un appear to unfold and that's the freedom that's yearned for is that there's just what's appearing to happen there's just energy it's all a story these are the the, the story of the person is the, the that whole narrative of I have a job, I have this career, uh, th um, and I'm progressing my career. <laughs> it's lovely, really. It's really endearing. Like, I'm progressing my career as I get more experience and get more professional and have more responsibility and rise up to managerial positions and developing this lovely career as I go. And it's quite obvious you don't have a career and you don't have anything, actually. And this is why sometimes people have complete breakdowns when they put everything into this career and then they get to the pinnacle or they get to the so-called top and it's very obviously empty the whole thing is completely empty and sometimes there can be a, a breakdown or a, a sense of um uh you know complete everything falling apart because actually that for that person their sense of being a person was um very much that identity of the role or the career or whatever most people have a few different things really some people have one core things like that like a job um especially if it's something important <laughs> i'm a very important person don't you know
Hi, John. Hi, good evening, Kenneth. Um, I wasn't sure whether that was a little English accent you did there for the mm. person who thought they were right. very important. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a bit, you know... It was Hollywood. trying to be posh, but it probably came off English, yes. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I felt I was being alluded to. Um, oh, okay. No, no. Oh, uh, no. My, um, yeah, in, in the same way that a, a job is is sort of meaningless in it, in that it, it 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 gives nothing because, of course, there's no one to whom it can be given. Mm. In the same way, a, a job. There's nothing wrong with the job either. Sometimes there's it's been, wrong, wrong or right with anything. Because you see, sometimes Actually. it's been suggested to me that you know um, certain jobs <laughs> um, can sort of hold you back from some sort of um, realization of. No, 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 no. That's, that wasn't. It wasn't saying. Well, it, it didn't so, come out of this trapdoor. No, 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 so, no, no, no. So what? Basically, it's just the difference is. <clears throat> in see, thinking that you are a real person who has the job and the job is happening because of you mm. and all of that and all and all that nice stuff and just seeing that it's just a play of light it's just a role it it's the same and it's completely different You gone, John? Did I cut you off there dramatically, or <laughs> no? no. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you dealt me a, a sort of uh, a single sentence, which really um, didn't say very much. Uh, mm. uh, it's same, but it's different. Mm. I mean, I, I realize there's nothing to be said. Um, I <laughs> No, but I mean, with, with regard to the job, I, there was nothing in what I said about bad or good, right? There was nothing about no, no, no. it being bad or good or someone having a, mm. any, the job or the, as you said, someone suggested that some some mm. jobs can hold you back from something. That's mm. total and utter nonsense. There, but there's there's some, uh, there's roles that people um, appear to be in that it seemed to in the story kind of imbue them with a bit more importance mm. and that can be a little bit more addictive and seductive to the person and mm. so they are the type of roles that the person may may feel may feel that that their um, self as a, of identity is very much wrapped up in and their sense mm. of a person is mm. wrapped up in mm. um, more so than other kind of jobs which aren't seem to be terribly important really which is f quite funny because if you speak to people in the not very important jobs, there's quite a, there can be quite a sense of freedom in them as like not yeah. really caring what people think, obviously. Yeah. Um, but then the other people in other particular roles, they can, there's a, in the story, there's a sense that maybe people think that they're important because they're doing this job and they themselves kind of feel important because they're doing the job. Maybe or maybe not. Yeah. 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 No, I, I completely see that. Yeah, um, I, I was saying this is not my case, but I, I mean, I was thinking about safe example. I've seen in a few uh, sessions when people who work sort of uh, in um, psychologists, um, you know, they 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 come up against the fact that they are working um, that underlying their job, their, underlying their profession, there is this assumption of a reality, which of course the message here is completely contradicting. Oh, with, with regard to certain professions, that this would be very confronting. Yeah, that would at their heart be that there is a separate individual whom I can help get somewhere. Mm. So, like you said, psychology is one of those. Um, psychology regards actually, uh, psych psychology really regards thinking that there's no such thing as an uh, um, as an individual as really insanity. And it's because it, it it because it undermines their whole profession so much, yeah. um, they see it as kind of crazy. But that has kind of shifted a bit too, actually, in the last kind of yes. maybe decade. There's more psychologists that now question have questioned the um, solidity of the person and and free will as well. It's it's a kind of a thing in psychology that there's no free will possibly as well. So, it's it's a little bit less rigid than it was. Mm. 
Um, but certainly jobs like that are jobs like um, psychotherapy, um, certain professions which, uh, you know, inherently speak to you and say that you are, I can see that you're um, yearning for something. I can see that you have trauma. I can see that you have hurt. I can heal all of those things and, and bring you along somewhere. But there's huge variances as well within them. I mean, the simple, simply a space for someone to talk about trauma. I mean, when you speak about it like this, then it, the person always feels that you're being negative about these things. You're, it's mm. not positive or negative. Mm. Um, but a um, this this communication, I mean, is illuminating that there's no but there is no individual. There's actually nobody to help. Um, and all of that is a story. Helping appears to happen in the story. That's just what appears to happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Ken. Thanks. Thanks. The person is invested in things. Yeah, I mean, the person, the person is a narrative. The person is a story. The person is made up in that, in that, that seemingly solid sense of who I am, of I do this, you know, for a living. Like if you ask someone, who are you? One of the first things they're going to do is either talk about their family or their job uh, as an identity, or then the next thing is their interests or their passions in an effort to describe um, who they are. And what's being shared is that really you're not anything. <laughs> you're nothing being everything. And um, that character that you are is, uh, has likes and dislikes and may appear to do one thing or another, but all of it is a story. And when that's obvious, it's obvious. And that's what's being shared here. That's what's being shared, it's very simple. It's very ordinary. It's the seeing by nobody that there's only energy. That this sense of being a, a person who has a life is artificial and always has been. And there's never an effort when this is shared. There's no effort from anybody. But this, there's no, there's nothing to know. There's nowhere to get, and it's just from nothing. And it's all a resonance. It's all an energetic resonance, and that. Um, sense of being a person can just bang <laughs> appear to collapse and and does hi William hi Kenneth um, I kind of was thinking to myself it sounds so attractive if the sense of a person falls away because then there isn't ever a problem in what's happening yeah but what i was going to ask about is really does the person actually love having problems to deal with yeah the person is story like the person is drama so that's it's always having you know it's always there's always drama for the person you know everything is more complex than it it can't just be simply nothing appearing to happen um and like the person the person can't hear what's been said here at all so the person isn't being spoken to there's never a sense here of speaking to a bunch of however many people on zoom or if this was a real meet uh, a, a, an actual meeting th there had never been a sense of speaking to separate people um and the thing about that is, like, if there was, I mean, the person, that separate person can't hear what's being said anyway. They can only turn it into something and they will hear that, you know, like you said, it sounds very attractive uh, and it's it sounds lovely or it may not. It might just sound very boring, <laughs> or a load of bullshit or whatever. But if it sounds attractive or it sounds like something they want, it's almost always um 
some sort of state for the person where this all my problems go. I think that's yeah. what you said, isn't it? Like it's 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 a place where I don't have any problems. Well, well what I was um, thinking of, but the a person's idea of it is not what's being suggested here. That's the person isn't being spoken to anyway. It's nothing to do like that's that whole energy of a person of uh, pulling in pleasure and comfort and safety, living in this safe bubble of me, um, and then uh, pushing away. Uh, pulling pulling away com pulling in comfort and pushing away discomfort and also pushing away all the problems will be gone and that's so then when this is shared that's always how they'll hear this but it's not like that it's not like anything it's very ordinary it's just that there's energy and so whatever arises or appears is is it so if it's a pr apparent problem then that's what's appearing to happen if it's discomfort then that's what's appearing to happen if it's pain that's what's appearing to happen. If it's losing your job suddenly, that's what's appearing to happen. And then there's just an in it is like an in loveness with what's appearing to happen for no one. But it's it's never it can't be what the person imagines it to be. And that's no, the that's the shocking part of it. What you're yearning for is already the case. Like what you're yearning for is just simply whatever appears to be. Yeah, what you were talking there about the simplicity of it, I think also um, that's what the person wants to get away from because it's like doesn't want something that's oh, ordinary yeah. seems to be boring. Oh, completely. Yeah, the person wants complex and difficult and hard to get thrives on it. Make it really like think about some of these, um, say, spiritual kind of uh, cults or. or um, you know, pro pro uh, processes or whatever. It's always levels. You know, it's always and the, that makes the more levels they are, the hard, the more attractive it is to the person and the sense of some sense of progression towards something. You know, that's the way the person. That's the way the person is comfortable. Yeah, it's like in the exact same way that the person feels it's around the next corner. It's just around the next corner. It's just what I'm yearning. It's just around when I get there, when I get this, and when I get that, and when I get it. Just it's never just simply, just you know, sitting down, speaking, tea. <laughs> you know, it, it's not. It's too boring for the person. It's like, well, it's just not. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, when you share this, or I know it's not shared by a person, but when you're communicating this, you're smiling, and there's, it, I can feel the passion. There's just a love witness with the message. Yeah, it's it's stunning, and it's as stunning as when it was first seen and first heard. It never gets old. It never, everything's always new, and it's the most boundless, free, um, amazing realization that could be it's not a state it's not an experience and it's there that's all it is it's just a sharing yeah thanks 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 william Is, is listening to this message seeking um it's you could say it's seeking but you could also just say it's just what appears to be happening uh, when you feel like a person there's nobody who feels like an individual who's not seeking or cogitating or meditating on the sense that they have that there's a world out there and there's a me in here and everyone's doing it in their their and unique way but most don't verbalize it or um and most can't pin it down to even express it. Um, but once there's a sense that there's there's an embodied sense of being in the body and the world out there, then there's a yearning and a searching until that there's no longer a sense of 
being in the body and there's just body and just whatever appears to happen. Um, when I it's what I've noticed when when uh, with this communication is people kind of tend to see um, seeking in negative terms, kind of like as if seeking oh that's the individual and that's somehow bad and it doesn't have any terms negative or positive or anything. And if someone says to me oh, you know, it's amazing. This is just stunning. There's no searching for anything anymore. OK, that's fine. And then the next person says there's just this deep, intense yearning. I'm just constantly looking at um, either videos, these videos or other videos or I'm doing this or I'm doing that or the other. It's the exact same. Both of them are the exact same as far as this is concerned. It doesn't make any difference at all. So if there's a sense of seeking and, and then that's just simply what appears to be happening. Um, and when it comes to a clear communication, what I would say is that it's um, it can resonate. And when it really resonates, there can be like almost like an addiction to it, like like not wanting to listen to anything else and not finding yourself listening to anything else and everything else being somehow uh, empty is probably the wrong word but um just of no interest anymore um uh that's quite common actually because this is just such a unique uh, such a different communication uh, to, compared to the continual um uh you know message that comes at you that reinforces that you're a person you're a person with you have choice, you have a life and blah, blah, blah. The, speak, the one that's speaking to you all the time and feeding you. It's so different to that. So not uncommon for uh, people to. And also people just even when people apparently fall away too, actually, it can be a real just thrill of this communication and uh, even meetings. Uh, people assume everyone at the meeting it's it's quite funny actually people used to assume that everyone at the meeting feels like a person and it wouldn't be the case at all there'd be quite a number who didn't at all but just uh, just absolutely loved this communication But that fundamentally, that question is, is looking at this seeking as if seeking is, um, yeah, somehow negative or somehow a sign that some you're still there or whatever. And these this is just all the rah, rah, rah from the person. It's very simple what's being shared here. There's just very, very ordinary. There's just energy. There's just what's appearing to happen. Thoughts appear to happen. Emotions, uh, positive, negative, whatever doesn't matter Th positive thoughts negative thoughts um it's just what's appearing to happen No, it's the same question thing really that I just said is if there's a desire to always listen to this message, does it imply anything? Um, nothing has any meaning or significance only for the person. So if there's a sense of wanting to always listen to this message, what I would say is that it's um, resonating there. And when it's resonating, it's resonating. And that's what's appearing to happen. And there you go. There's just a. Yeah, there's a draw to it. It doesn't mean that means absolutely nothing at all. If there was listening to this, um, I, I've seen people just completely and utterly be 
comp- obsessed or intrigued or with this message or fascinated um i can't stop listening to it like just over and over and over um and that's that just plays out like it plays out i've also seen where people um hear this once or twice and bang their sense that's it and they don't ever have any uh kind of draw to put it back on or to listen to other speakers or to anything nothing nothing at all it's it's amazing and one would not be better than the other how could it There's nobody listening to the message and there's nobody not listening to the message. It's just what's appearing to happen. There's nowhere to get to. There's nothing to know. There's just energy, which is nothing being everything. <laughs> as long as someone still believes they're a person can they fake it till they make it <laughs> yeah of course you could you could do that yeah and there's loads of people who say that they f- that they're not a person and they feel that they're not a person and that's that's what appears to happen i mean what would be the per- what would the purpose of that be but i, I suppose it would be the sense that maybe others would then think that i have something that they don't have maybe or uh yeah the (laughs) the person is faking it till they make it anyway i guess as a person it's quite interesting a lot of people have this um this really kind of deep sense of being a fake uh it's it's not it's not i'm not really authentic um some famous people have quite quite famous people have had it and uh really what it is is that somewhere it was sensed that there really is no them in their doing everything everything is really just appearing to happen and they probably struggled a bit with this uh addition of themselves to everything it was and didn't feel as concrete as for other people But that's in the exact same way that like people say, you know, as I was given the example earlier of someone who if any of these meetings, if someone said, oh, this is wonderful and da, 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 and then this is unbelievable and I can't describe it and uh, you ding, ding, ding. And then someone says, this is torture. I'm tortured by this. I, I, I feel like a person and da, da, you know, whatever. Um, when any clear communication, both of them are, there's no difference between them at all which is amazing really because it's all just energy it's all just energy so feeling like a person and reporting that you're a person it's that's what's appearing to happen or someone reporting that they don't feel like a person anymore that's what's appearing to happen one isn't more significant than the other and if there is like you can only really just say what's appearing to happen for you so it's like well i feel um uh, you know that's what this is really is a sharing from nothing and if someone it's it kind of um it resonates as it resonates and someone thinks of something some aspect of feeling like a person that's why i nearly always say at the beginning 
just say it just it's there to be said or just ask a question uh, it's not that it's about there being an answer to the question it's just it's all energetic but uh, what difference would it make there's there is as someone says there there's already nobody there there, there is already no individual there is already no separation there is already just energy nothing being everything and in that nothing being everything there's the appearance of feeling like a person a real separate person but as far as this communication is concerned there is no real person nobody's that's why it, you'll frequently hear me say nobody's going to fall away it's not that nothing happens nobody falls away because all it is is a sense of a, 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 that sense of being a person not being there and then it, it being obvious that it never even was it never had even started it was always a story Hi, Gailin. Gailin, you're you're muted. <laughs> Sorry. You're okay. No worries. <laughs> it's uh, in an era of Facebook and Instagram. Mm. It's such amazing that this message is going through all the people are the cult of the personality cult mm, mm. Uh, it's amazing it's yeah it's, really it's, amazing. but for that reason it's it's always going to be the unpopular one like this is never going to go viral or <laughs> really it's, i don't it, know it, it's it kind of has some it's resonating much more now but um that whole um world of uh social media and all of that is a, is a kind of feeding for the person and it's yeah. very interesting how that's playing out and how it's facilitated the reality of the person to be more cushioned and more for people to be more in their bubble through the algorithms. So through the algorithms, 
people are, are it's 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 just it's the same feeding so the feeding the person feeds on what they want and now the level of um tolerance for what would be a an opinion or a, a, a worldview or something that wouldn't fit with their worldview the level of tolerance has gone down massively and it's more and more people living in their in that that everyone as a person is in their own reality anyway but there's something about social media that has facilitated this even much much more and um yeah. the current kind of play of how things are happening so all of that has a huge huge role in it of how polarized people are really the cancel culture and all of that that really goes back to that as well is like I believe this and that about the world and what you're saying is so offensive to me. I think you should be completely removed from my reality. You, you just so OK, free speech is nice and all that and everything. But you you don't what you're saying, I don't like. So I just want you removed from, for, you know, from the university. I want you deplatformed from YouTube and all of that. And then all of that is, start, you know, it's kind of being facilitated, too. And it's just, it's really, really, really strange times we're in. Yeah, but in a, in another way, mm. I've discovered this amazing message. Yeah, yeah. Through through a YouTube. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, yeah. it's now it's like from this new perspective, I would say it's like it's now it's well, it's it's the new reality reality for no me i don't know how yeah, to say yeah. that yeah yeah i know what you're it's, saying yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh it's stunning uh, like i actually first heard this on youtube as well 13 oh youtube thir okay. yeah 13 years ago it was on youtube oh. and i've been doing um i doing about a year of uh different all sorts of different things and then i heard uh, the open secret on youtube and it was about <laughs> only about 10 minute clip but then i watched it and then I watched it again and then I watched it again. And every time I watched it was the first time I watched it. So then I knew yeah. it was it, it, I knew I was something in it that wasn't in all this other stuff. And there was something in it that spoke of the apparent falling away that had been whatever many months earlier. But uh, yeah, YouTube was is stunning in that way. And 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 it's as you say that, like what I describe, it sounds like kind of a negative thing, but it's all it's only just an observation about uh, social media and all of these things that are apparently mm -hmm. happening but i would say that the sense of the individual it's like it's getting more contracted and it more you know the sense of individualism almost growing apparently and but mm -hmm. because everything is in balance if it does appear to grow then the openness to there just being nobody also appears to grow so in the yeah. exactly as you said if it's like that um you know all of these things happen then then also also youtube people hear this communication or whatever and bang you know and generally just energetically there's more of an openness because everything is to in totally in balance anyway um, yeah within the polarization everything is so polarized and and dichotomous you know it has to be just this way it can't be any of the other way um and and that's the what we're seeing and so authoritative now and huge authoritative move to control narrative and all of that then and, and within that it's just it's more obvious that there's nothing even happening maybe <laughs> that's so yeah. funny i used to listen uh the youtube channel of can i be frank oh yeah frank, and yeah. he was so he was so he just wanted to understand and i was following him trying to understand also and and now he's <laughs> yeah yeah frank's a, a dear thanks a dear friend of mine yeah I, I, oh I, yeah okay I love frank, yeah yeah yeah, yeah uh, and now no, he's now and, he's speaking himself, yeah, because he's yeah, it's, that's, it's that's amazing that, to see, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's he, actually if you really follow the videos, at a certain point you can start the questions just didn't come, they just kind of stopped coming after a while, and uh, I remember that very well talking to him about that, and he was quite surprised himself. He just kind of didn't really have any more questions, and but um, yeah. yeah, no, it's nice energy to it, yeah. It's great. I'm anyway, delighted thank, to hear him talking. You. Yeah. No, thank you. Lovely yeah, to speak to yeah. you. Yeah. 
yeah thank you someone says until you get cancelled Kenneth <laughs> I was like yeah man I would not be surprised I don't think people have any idea actually how bad the censorship has gotten most people don't actually they have no idea and they think that they think actually that the people who are being centered are censored are like flat earthers you know they're like the word the earth is flat and <laughs> And we can just pull them down. That's fine to pull them down because we know the world is round. So that's grand. The censorship thing is hilarious. Yeah, well, it's not hilarious. It just is what it is. But no, I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 it. It's the, that's what's appearing to happen. They're actually taking people's websites down. People don't even know that either. They're, they're because they don't like what they're saying. They're going after the, the UN or going after their um, domain people and they're next thing you, they go and their whole website's gone and it's there's not too far out there stuff it's just pretty yeah it's mad no flat earth and no round earth yeah in a way yeah no earth at all just uh the appearance of an earth everything is real and unreal so everything is real and unreal everything Hi, hi, Laura. Yeah, but um, so apparently, like in the, uh, the recent talks, uh, the, the Kenneth character still seems to be, let's say, slightly concerned with what's going on in a way because you mm. mention it over and again. I wouldn't say concerned. It's an observation that the energy of what appears to happen is it's very, very interesting. I think in yeah. modern, what I would say is that in modern uh living memory it's not been like this really for I, I i would say but maybe i'm wrong um with regard to what's appearing to happen like whole whole societies have been completely and utterly closed down um and people are it's what's interesting is the normalization of that now at this point like that would have been absolutely kind of oh my god uh, people would have thought that was ridiculous that that could never happen two years ago but now it's just like oh it's another lockdown oh it's another you know this and that's happening and people have become and, and the reason it's been brought up is it's regarding that sense of the person um feeling like a real person in their bubble and this sense of safety is a huge aspect of it um a sense of living in safety is a is a is a really core feeling of feeling like a person an individual person in the bubble of me you could say and there's an increased kind of um move towards it you know it's been referred to as safetyism really and that's what you see is and then a feature of that then is being looking to an authority that can keep me safe and it's that the reason it's been spoken about is just making those uh, illuminating that sense of the separate self yeah, and how that plays out in the separate self to say is it concerning or the Kenneth's concerned about it it's what I would say is that and I've always said it, and I say it every meeting is that it's energy what it is is all energy it's everything is real and unreal and energetically what from what's appeared to happen it's a very interesting energy all around the apparent globe now it's very very interesting and it's um uh it it can't be any other way yeah you know that's always that's, at the heart yeah. of what is being communicated here yeah. is everything is energetic and there is no body there is no separate person and nothing can be and different than it appears to be yeah that's all yeah yes yes <laughs> Yes, and it, and but it is fascinating though as regards I find the censorship fascinating I find the mm -hmm. and 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 as you see the difficulty is everything has become politicized actually so even these observations I'm making now people when they listen oh, they'll no. put me in one camp or another they, what they're trying to do basically are they'll say well are you pro vaccine or anti vaccine are you pro lockdown or anti vaccine uh, lockdown are you and that's what i refer to that's what i'm referring to is this huge polarization of the world of people um that's the whole energy of it you know um i feel it's a bit about a bit uh, it's in a way Actually, here it is, and so far as I see it in my, let's say, friend circle, it triggers intensely like 
um, very subtle survival mechanisms. Yeah. You know, like it's like like so, and you cannot you cannot not be part of it. It's like oh, there's yeah, no that, way there's out. no escaping. No, it's absolutely not. Yeah, no escape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very what, intense. That way. Yeah, and yeah. very um, there's an enormous enormous fear in people and i don't yeah. think i think that some people aren't as clued in about that maybe because again people some people are in their little bubble they're working from home they have this they're being told you know uh, oh we have to restrict your life a little bit and other people's lives again and they're like okay you know it's not great but that's okay but what they still have their income they still have this they still have that and there's a huge cohort that are kind of a little bit not as aware of the 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 utter um carnage that's appearing to happen like the complete oh, fear that people are in carnage um the the, the like just engaging? carnage no uh the mess you know the car crash that's appearing to happen with oh. uh, people not seeing their children not seeing their grandchildren mm. losing their losing their income a uh, whole society is being torn apart and people living in absolute fear. I mean, it, maybe it's because of my role in palliative uh, and I see people that are afraid to leave the house that might have a year to live, but they're, they're still afraid to leave the house and still afraid to see family. And like yes. all the time I see people who are absolutely fucking terrified, like they're terrified. And then yeah. what a, it's obvious then the role that authority is having in, in this, in, in maintaining this sense of fear all the time. And yeah. uh, that's it would be it's what it's always coming back to. This is what's appearing to happen. It's what's appearing to happen. It's all energetic. It can't be any other way. And, it, and it's what, what way is it going to play out um, is anyone's guess. You know, yeah. um, it's definitely unrecognizable from the way it was two years ago, you could say um and there's no sign of it kind of going back to any way close to it the way it was um and that's also just what's appearing to happen mm. yeah so so is it like um that 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 this is in a way pointing to this this communication is the, the this is pointing to what to the, the scene, it's a pointer that there is no person, there is no individual, there is no bubble. So that sense of you feeling that you want to remain safe and that there's an authority that can keep you safe um, and you being in a bubble is essentially that is that contracted sense of separation. That's what that is. So here that's what's being suggested, that it's very obvious in its maybe more obvious in what's playing out that there is no authority there is no individual and there's just what's appearing to happen that another way of putting it is that everything is empty so the narrative that is appearing the huge narrative and the narrative that is being wrestled over and controlled and and what well, all the censorship is and all of that all of that is it's completely a story it's just a story mm. But it doesn't as a person, it's not a story. It's this is really happening. There are really individual people and there is, uh, you know, all of this is being it's there's a, you know, in this, what's the difference between it being a story and being real? I mean, that's the kind of nub of what we're sharing. Yeah, it's not it's seen when that's seen, it's seen. And when it's not, it's not. I would like to share something personal to this. So I'm not a, like. For example, here it is not that that I'm so much thinking that the authority will keep me safe, but that I observe cowardness of myself. So yeah. I'm following certain, let's say, regulations. Yeah. In order to let, like, the other side of the fear. You, you know what I mean? That's what I observe yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, and the thing about it is, on both sides, like people on both sides there's such a polarization that people on one side are saying that you are um 
it's like as if they want to get the unvaccinated and put them on a fucking island and blow it up. You know, that's the solution to everything. It's just it's nuts. And then they're building all these camps around the place uh, in Australia and all of that. And then they're going to find people. And that's the solution. You know, it's very dichotomous. This is the only way out. And then the other crowd then are are getting so angry. They're calling people sheep. You're a bunch of fucking sheep and you don't. And blah, right. blah, blah. And th that's equally not helpful because. I mean, these are not sheep. These are Pete. These are our mothers and brothers and everything is so divided down. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And polarized. But uh, po uh, um, yeah, I mean. Um, yeah, there you go. It's what's appearing to happen. It's what's yeah. it's what's appearing to happen. And it's going to play out like it plays out. Yeah. Um, yeah, and even Tony in one of his last videos, he said that, and I found that remarkable. He 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 once introduced a talk with that the world apparently will never be the the one as it has been so far. Oh no, that's very yeah. obvious. It's never yeah. going back, and a lot of people What's have realized that or though. Something like yeah, that. a lot of people have. Um, a lot of people have realized that now it's not going back. Now, however, it will be. It will be, but. Um, what's what's at the core of it people are being terrified terrified and the suggestion is the level of risk that they're at and the the narrative from the governments all around the world are completely totally and utterly disproportionate mm. so what's appearing to happen then what's all, what is this all about and loads of people have lots of answers to that but then the censorship comes in and you're getting one kind of narrative that people are being tr put at people. And um, I, I liked something at the very beginning of it. And it said, I'd, I'd, I'd much rather have um, questions I can't answer than answers I can't question. Mm -hmm. And the difficulty is now we're definitely in an air, in a, in a, in a, at a point where we have answers we can't question. Um, for me, the reason it's been spoken about here is it's all energetic. It's not about I'm very well aware and I've no um, desire to kind of delve into the COVID narrative and, and vaccines and all of that, because, I mean, the, everything is full. The Internet is full of it. And obviously I don't have nothing to add really to it. It's just observing the play of light at the moment, which is a huge surge of authority and a huge fear in people. And that what's been suggested is this is all um, an aspect of separation, the story of me. Mm -hmm. And that whole sense of there being a, a, an authority that will keep me safe and to which I should uh, follow is uh, at its core uh, um, an aspect of feeling like a person, a separate person. Mm -hmm. Hi, Anita. Yeah, you were speaking what is happening. That's that is it. Yeah, here in the Netherlands, they say um, that it's not good to. Um, oh yeah, they they don't say not good, but they say it's better not to meet your children. So it's very. Um, yeah. Yeah, bring a lot of fear in. in it's the... huge fear all everywhere. Yeah. Every country is the same from the very beginning of this. It's been very, uh, I'm, you know people use the words propaganda because it's just it is very fear and be afraid is the core narrative be very very afraid and um, that's what's happening people are very afraid very 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 afraid and then uh, any other narrative which talks to about maybe the destruction of society the mental health the suicides the misdiagnoses the oh you know the list goes on and 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 uh, that narrative is being completely cut out. Nobody's allowed being talked about. It's like there's a huge censorship, there's huge authority. And, you know, even that, what I just said there now would be too much for some people. They'd find that quite a political statement. And it's amazing that that is where the world is at, that it's huge. Everything is political. I realize that you can't actually say anything because that's not that you can't say anything. Anything you say is deemed to be either, it's, you're either one or the other then. And that hasn't, in living memory, I've never kind of seen, I, what's your Jesus, I'm not that old, but uh, um, from what people say, like, 
globally that kind of level of um of um polarization is a very new thing really it's and it's a very energetically it's just phenomenal i don't think you can it's energetically it's it's stunning and uh you know someone just asked a question there are you worried or are you not worried i mean i'm not anything but worry can arise but it's certainly not about the worry that um it's not about the worry that the the main authority would have me worry about <laughs> But I mean, this character is a character who has a wife and three kids and uh, thoughts arise, you know, about, oh, you know, my my little kid wearing a mask and they can't get enough oxygen in because the government have deemed it to be um, necessary based on absolutely no research whatsoever that they're willing to show and stand behind. You know, for example, but then again, you say that then and you also sound like, oh, so you are, are you this or you that? Um, but even these simple questions, these things that people have, they're being marginalized. Then if they query anything, any questions about any any aspect of it, you're being pushed into a certain category. And um, that's the way it is. And that's what's playing out in the world. And it cannot be any other way. It's what's appearing to happen. And it will it's explosive in its energy and it's. Um, yeah, who knows? Thanks, Anita. Thanks. I'll take one more question and I'll finish up then. Um, Avarish, is it? Hi. Hey, hi, yeah. It's Avirash. Hi. Avirash. <laughs> actually i typed in that question not asking you actually when you were saying like is there vaccination is there no vaccination that's when i typed in as like a addition to what you were saying are you oh, concerned I have, yeah. or not okay yeah you know i have you. yeah yeah <laughs> um but oh yeah so, with relation to that yeah. yeah yeah i mean that's it like i mean it's interesting yeah, in our in our country you. people yeah. had the body the integrity um the, what i can't remember which under the constitution is the right to bodily integrity and when it came to abortion we hit the streets big time and people voted overwhelmingly for well it's your body you have the right to decide and da, 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 da. then fast forward two years and now anybody who's saying that um well i respect your right to get it i respect your right to get that the vaccine i'd rather wait until I have a bit more data, they're being seen as the unwashed and people would like them to absolutely put yeah. them on a fucking island and blow it up because that's the solution. But I even mean, the island, constant, there's, not, yeah. there's, there's so many examples of there's something wrong with this whole thing. But then because the narrative is being controlled so much, mm. like, for instance, Gibraltar, which is the island, the, but they're they, all the vaccinated are on it because they have 100 percent vaccination and then their hospitals are at Boston Point and the t it was uh, uh, disaster so it was a good example of how well that's not but i mean it's just it uh, i keep coming back to it's all an energy it's just it's energetic and but it would be remiss of me not to say point out the absolutely incredibly authoritative tyrannical nature of what yeah there's, there's constantly an there's would, constantly an appreciation actually yeah. when 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 there was there's apparent speaking of that there's constantly and i don't know whatever it, it happened the mm. appreciation happens mm. but it also is simultaneously very apparent that it's just um words you know yeah it's it's it, no, it's, it's it not is the even narrative. words it's, it's not the story, even words yeah. it's just yeah yeah, yeah it's sure. energy it's, it's all energy it's very yeah, it's not even words it's sound you know yeah it's, it's sound like, and it's energy it's yeah. shapes of the mouth like moving yeah and yeah you, yeah that's and that's what life is so is that's, it just shapes you know is it the tongue just, hitting the just, top of the mouth or is it you know so you don't it's obviously uncertain so yeah it, yeah it's just there's just energy it's simple it's, yeah. it's there's just energy and that's that's uh it plays out like it plays out and nothing can be any different than it is um and that's what's the the story now has become that's the that's the story that's the circus that's in town and isn't isn't leaving you know um and there's huge <laughs> energy around it like it's it's gonna it's it's gonna play out one way or the other it's gonna all explode or it's gonna 
Um, you know, appear <laughs> to kind of limp gonna, on the way it is or whatever. But... The ball is going to bang to you. Yeah. But I uh, appreciate you coming. Lots okay, thanks. Thanks to everyone. Um, yeah, it's just such a beautiful uh, communication. Um, it's stunning. Nothing to do with Kenneth at all. And it's just such a wonderful sharing from nothing. And uh, thanks so much. Lovely to see everyone. I put a link in... Um, uh, where are we? For anyone who'd like to contribute, I put a link there at the top and the bottom. I just put it there again. Much appreciated. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, Kenneth. Thanks. Thank Take you. Care. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Kenneth. Thanks, bye. Mm -hmm.